everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm reporting live from San Diego. So I just wanted to jump on here real quick because, you know, like, when I'm at these gigs and stuff and I don't really have, like, a friend here with me to, like, really vent or, like, be able to talk to at these gigs, I like to come on here and use this as a way to have support. So thank you, everyone that is watching. But, like, one thing that I realized in the gay club is that a lot of people that, I'm sorry to say, but majority gay men that work in the gay clubs, they're not, like, very aware of trans, um, it's not that they're not aware of trans people, but they're not aware of how to interact with trans people properly, and so, like, tonight, there was this, like, bartender who was, like, drunk, and he was just, like, talking about, like, whose belonging belonged to this person and I was like oh it belongs to so and so and he was like oh well were they born originally a boy or a girl and I was like well why does it matter and he was like well because you know it's a gay club and so like trans people exist and I was like yeah I think I would know like you're talking to one and he was like oh you're trans I was like yeah actually I am he was like oh well, well like uh, are how long have you been in transition and like oh are you taking estrogen like and generally I mean for all of you that follow me you know that I'm very open with my transition and that I'm actually very like open to share information and to help everybody um with any questions that they may have and it's not that like I'm this like stealthy like trans woman who doesn't like talk about trans issues or being trans it's actually something that you know I really try to vocalize and try to be there for people but when we're at a nightclub and you're clearly intoxicated and you're just being a little bit intrusive like asking questions and I feel like the only reason that he was really asking these questions was just because he was like kind of felt bad in a way but was like trying to cover it up by like being positive and like trying to like be personal with me and that's what he said he was like oh well I'm just trying to like be personal but I guess I'll just leave you alone and I was like well it's not that I'm not trying to be personal but you know it's a little um I guess just a little disturbing or a little uncomfortable like when people say things and they make you feel a certain way but then they try to like cover it up by like saying more things and it's really like not the right thing to do you know what I mean but anyway this is like the world that I put myself in and as a trans woman I feel like this is my job and every single day I, I definitely struggle with sometimes you know being seen as a woman or being seen as as the person that I identify as in heterosexual or homosexual settings, I'm sorry, because in gay settings, there's trans people everywhere. So people are very aware of the lifestyle and people are very, um, I guess, in tune, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they respect and that doesn't necessarily mean that they have, like, the best education or intentions um i don't even think it's so much intentions i just think it's proper education in how you interact with people that's all but um yeah i will be coming out soon on the switch too so i hope all of you guys are ready for that for those of you that don't know what the switch 2 is it is a 34 episode drag race um formatted show out in chile it's called the switch two there was a switch one but i filmed the second season last year so if you haven't already seen it get online go ahead and watch the switch one so by the time my season comes out you can be up to date it's um really well produced it's super 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 um elevated in the way that it's um shot 
So I'm really excited for that. And I can't wait to share all that with you guys. And um, I think it should be coming out anywhere in January or February of next year. And I'll definitely be doing everything I can to try to get this show um, publicated here in the United States so that all you guys can see it as well. So, yeah. I have to get ready now for my show, but I just wanted to come on here and um, talk to you guys for a little bit. I definitely um, try to come in here as much as I can. No, got Mick, request me again. Uh, but yeah, I'm in San Diego tonight, everyone. So if you're in San Diego, come on by. It's Stripper Circus. I know it's a little chilly outside, but um, just bundle up and come on down. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the comment on my voice. You guys know that it's like... One of my biggest insecurities, but I'm definitely getting there every day. Los quiero en Chile. Nos vemos muy pronto allá en Chile. Where's Mick? If you guys haven't already, I want you to go and check out um, Jeffree Star's holiday makeup to, uh, tutorial. Uh, my friend got Mick. Did the makeup, yes, God, and David Scissorhands worked her over. So, um, go and check it out. It's really, really stunning. My girl can do makeup. So, yeah, how's that? Sweet. Um, the switch will be in Spanish. Hablo español perfectamente para la gente que no me conoce. Soy la china más latina, así que nos vemos muy pronto en una área muy cercano a usted. See you next time, you guys. Good night.